Before you start lesson 42, make sure you complete test H in the test masters on measurement facts. Lesson 42 is on repeating decimals. And to understand what that means, let's just do a division problem here. Let's do 1 divided by 3. Same thing as 1 third, right? So the divisor goes on the outside, and we have a 3. 3 goes into 1 zero times, so we need to put a decimal place down and a 0. 3 goes into 10 times, or 3 goes into 10 three times, and we have a 9. And 10 minus 9 is 1. Bring down a 0. Let's just write out a few zeros here. And again, 3 goes into 10 three times. 3 goes into 10 three times. And you can see that we're just going to keep getting 3's forever if we just keep on doing that. And so we can put some dots there to represent that that continues on forever. There are lots of decimal values that have that repeat on forever like this that you have repeating decimals where they don't ever stop they'll just you'll just you could do the division problem forever for the rest of your life and you would never end when you have these problems these repeating decimal problems there's usually a pattern to them and that set of numbers that repeats itself we call that the repeat end so for one third one divided by three the repeat end is just one number, a three, because there aren't any other numbers involved there. Here's how we would write one third as a decimal. You would say 0 0.3, and you put a bar over the repeat end. That part, that numerical pattern that repeats itself, you put a bar over that to represent that that part of the number repeats continuously. Let's do a couple of practice problems. Write these two, A and B. Just rewrite them with a bar over the repeat end. So on A, that would just be 2.16. And you put a bar over the 1.6 because that's the pattern that's repeating over and over. On B, you would just write 3.6 and put a bar over the 6 because that's the part that's repeating. It's just a 6 repeats over and over. Look at problems C and D. What I want you to do on those is write each one to the nearest hundredth place. So they have a bar over the repeat end right now. If you want to write them to the nearest hundredth place, just think about this. You'd have 7, 7. You would keep going to the nearest hundredth. You circle the place you're rounding to, put an arrow over the next digit that's greater than 5, so that means you round up. And we would have 0 0.78. That's how we would round to the nearest hundredth on that problem. Now on D, the repeat end is that 5 eight, or the 5 eight. Rounding to the nearest hundredth, again, we just circle the 5, put an arrow over the next digit, that's an 8, so that's greater than 5. 5 or greater, we round up and we would get 18.36. So you do those problems the same as you do any decimal problems that you're rounding. On C, we had to just recognize that we needed to add some extra digits there so that we would be able to round to the nearest hundredth correctly. And since the 7 was a repeat end, it had the bar over it, we just knew that we could add more 7s on there not zeros, we don't just put zeros on there. That wouldn't have made any sense. That repeat end tells us that we need to keep repeating that pattern. That bar over the seven tells us that number is continuing on forever. In practice problem E, I want you to do 1.9 divided by 12 and write the answer with a bar over the repeat end. So let's just go ahead and do that. Put a decimal point right here in the quotient. 12 goes into 1 zero times. It goes into 19 one time. So we have 7 left over. I'm not going to put a bunch of zeros after the 9. I'll assume that you understand that I need a 0 and we'll just pretend like they're there. 
12 goes into 70 five times. Bring a zero down. 12 goes into 100 eight times. And I need to move this over to the right here. Running out of room. 100. Subtract 96 from that. Bring down a zero. 12 would go into 40 three times. And you can see that we're going to get a repeating pattern now. It's just going to keep going into 40 three times. And let's just go ahead and stop there and put a bar over that three. And there's our answer, 0 0.1583. Occasionally, you will come across division problems where the decimal places just repeat on forever and ever. That's called the repeat end. That set of numbers that keeps repeating, that's the repeat end. And that's the way you'll see or be able to recognize when you have a repeat end in a number that you've been given is by the bar over the top of it. Okay, well that's all for lesson 42.